Hello my dear friends of electronics. In this video I want to show you something about some sensors. Uh, for this reason I invite Manfred. Hello Manfred. Yes, hello Laura. Thanks for the invitation. We have here two sensors. One is a pressure sensor and one is an accelerometer. But uh, I know this is uh, not an analog sensor. What is inside of these sensors? Um, yes, quite interesting. We have a highly integrated electronic chip on here, 2 by 2 millimeters, which has an ASIC on it. The sensing membrane being silicon wafer mounted on a type of Wheatstone bridge gives us a very small electrical signal. We amplify and digitize that and then we filter it and we can store up to 128 values in between in a buffer and we can read these through our I squared C uh, interface via whatever processor we have. That is the one on the accelerometer side we have the same principle. Also MEMS. Also a MEMS based system which with the sensor has a, a wafer which has been etched such that with a very minute force, a gravity force, we change the capacitance and we digitize that, store it and once again read it via I squared C as well. Three axes. Three axes, X, Y and Z. Also for the development board we have these little header pins which you can solder in from the bottom or from the top to actually then mount it either on our vero board or whatever other application I have. So all the pins of the module are available for external connection as well. That's our accelerometer. And we can actually test that it could be connected to our Amber Pi module. Okay, so it fits to the, the Amber Raspberry Pi uh, development kit? It fits to the Amber Pi. And let's do a little test. And uh, you can transmit by radio the data from here to laptop? We can measure the XYZ acceleration. Okay. I will switch in, in, in receive mode. You can mode. start your program. I will start my program on this side here and send you some XYZ acceleration data. Uh -huh. I'm going to show you and do some movements here. Yep, the I'm movement sorry. in the X, Y and Z acceleration should be received on your site and displayed on your monitor. So that's an easy, simple application which we have for our sensors. What I like on this uh, accelerometer sensor, this uh, sensing of one tap and double tap, so you can yeah. even use it for yes, some yes. commands. It is very, very sensitive. We have included already in the ASIC the single tap or double tap option, plus we have a free fall function. Uh -huh. okay. It could give an alarm and interrupt if it detects a free fall. There's no acceleration in any direction. Uh, and the applications are manifold. Which kind of application do you have in mind? Yeah, one of them would be, for instance, uh, in the industrial field, uh, low frequency vibration, for example, up to 400 hertz vibration. For machine, uh, early diagnostic detection, and so on. So the With the pressure monitoring, even indoor navigation together? Yes, for indoor navigation, we have a sensitivity which could actually detect a level shift of a few centimeters, which is a step or a staircase. And, uh, like like walking on stairs. We could use it for indoor navigation to detect the height. Thank you, Manfred. This is uh, very interesting uh, information and hope you enjoy this uh, video and please watch my video with the Amber Pie as well. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.